everyone is familiar with man's best friend being the beloved dog, but have you ever heard of a capybara? For landlords, accepting pets opens up a much larger potential tenant pool. But nowadays, pets have gone from the cute and cuddly to the strange and unusual. In this video, we help rental owners recognize the variety of unusual pets tenants may have and discuss tips for setting up a standard pet policy. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here from Bay Property Management Group, your local property management experts. Our team works diligently to help owners throughout Maryland, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania get the most from their rental investment. Before we get started, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on creating passive income through real estate, plus tips for owners, investors, managers, and tenants. So with that said, let's jump into today's video. Traditionally, owning a dog or cat was more than enough to take care of, and those options still remain the most common pets found in rental homes. However, some renters favor a more unusual choice. So what exactly is an exotic pet? Exotic pets are any critters other than dogs, cats, farm animals, or the common pocket pets, which includes guinea pigs, rabbits, and small rodents such as hamsters. Certain other types of animals, birds, or reptiles may be considered exotic and therefore are governed or restricted by local or state law. For example, in Maryland, it is illegal to own foxes, skunks, raccoons, bears, caimans, alligators, crocodiles, wildcats, feline hybrids over 30 pounds, wolves, canine hybrids, any non-human primates, or certain venomous snakes. So with so many potential variables, landlords must be acutely aware of any city, county, state, or federal law restricting unusual pets before accepting these animals onto your property. So we've covered what's illegal, but what could legally come walking, crawling, flying, or swimming into your rental property? Let's take a look at this list of 10 types of legal exotic pets you may see as a landlord. Our first example of an exotic pet is a hyacinth macaw. These gorgeous and strong birds can grow up to a staggering 40 inches tall. Also, with a 60-inch wingspan, they require significant habitat and special care. While they are legal in most areas with proper documentation, it is worth noting that such a large bird can be loud, thus creating a noise problem in an apartment or multifamily situation. Next up is a pet resembling the biggest guinea pig you've ever seen, and that's the capybara. While small furry friends are typically caged, capybaras can be upwards of 100 pounds and require a lot of time and attention. In addition, their teeth are extremely sharp and they require outdoor space to roam along with a pool to swim in. Another legal yet fluffier pet rodent is the chinchilla. Chinchillas are intelligent and feisty creatures, often living as much as 15 years. Typically, they are housed in large cages, but many owners let them have supervised playtime outside the cage. However, if allowed to run free unsupervised, they can easily chew through just about anything, including wires to electronics, which could present a safety hazard. Next up on our list, we have a strange but fascinating aquatic pet called an axolotl. Axolotls grow lungs, but they live their lives underwater and thus require an aquatic setup to thrive. These aquariums are beautiful but can present a liability in a rental. If a tenant has an aquarium, consider the size and potential load weight it can add along with the risk of leaks and water damage. Hedgehogs are the original pocket-sized pets. Their small size and social disposition make them a great choice for renters who do not have a lot of space to dedicate to an animal. However, these little exotic pets can carry diseases such as salmonella, so keeping a clean environment is vital. Sugar gliders are another small but popular exotic pet. Sugar gliders sail through the air similar to flying squirrels. While they are typically social and friendly, they also have sharp claws that can scratch most surfaces, which may be an issue in rentals if the pet owners do not monitor their activity outside the cage. Pot-bellied pigs are an unusual pet that is often underestimated by pet owners. While they are extremely smart and mischievous, they can also grow really large. Pigs require tons of food daily, and they can be difficult animals to handle. Therefore, pigs are not suited to every pet owner and certainly not every rental property. Creepy crawly exotic pets such as tarantulas may look imposing, but they are actually some of the least aggressive spiders in existence. These docile spiders require a modest habitat and are unintrusive, making them great for apartment living. Snakes are not everyone's idea of the perfect pet and are in fact illegal in some states. However, ball pythons are a type of constrictor snake that are commonly sold in many pet stores. 
Adult pythons reach around three to four feet in length and require a sturdy glass enclosure with heat lamps for the duration of their lives. That said, these heat lamps could present a fire risk if not properly set up or monitored. Our final example of an exotic pet your renter may have is the iguana. Iguanas are large reptiles that require a large enclosure along with a significant amount of room to roam and climb. Adults reach up to six feet in length and given their size, require a habitat of at least twice their body length. Therefore, this is something to consider for landlords. So what should landlords consider when creating a pet policy for a rental property? According to statistics, more than 70% of renters own some type of pet, yet only around 50% of owners accept them. So allowing pets into a rental property opens up the chance for more qualified leads to the listing. However, landlords should implement some rules and policies surrounding pets on the property. Properly drafted leases and policies protect landlords and the property from undue damage or liability caused by the pets, exotic or otherwise. So a few key things to remember when dealing with pets are, number one, include a detailed pet policy in your rental lease agreement. Number two, ask prospective tenants about their pets and be sure to see the animals in person. Number three, ensure that every animal has current vaccinations or any necessary paperwork as required by law. Number four, consider charging a pet fee, separate deposit, or even a monthly rental add-on for owning a pet on your property. Number five, specify the number and type of pet allowed on the property and ban any of those you do not wish to allow. Last but not least, number six, require all tenants to obtain renter's insurance, which helps protect you as the landlord, the property, and the tenant. Defining these policies from the start helps tenants understand their responsibilities as well as any consequences they may face due to their pet. Although landlords may not enjoy the thought of owning a capybara or a flying sugar glider, your tenants might. Therefore, understanding the traits and special needs of the typical and exotic pets will help you create a more thorough pet policy for your lease. For more advice on a variety of issues important to the rental industry, subscribe to the Bay Property Management Group channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exclusive content. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video.